So we're going to replant these water propagated blooms. Their root clusters are at least two inches in length and some of them have, blo have blooms and others do not. Some have both. So, get this out. And this is a mix of miracle Grow moisture control and the citrus cactus mix. There is also a small scoop of perlite mixed into with some systemic granules. So these with the small growth. This one. Okay. <clears throat> these. I'm gonna wipe this one off. So these four, I'm just going to push down into some soil. And I'm not gonna sprinkle any other soil onto them quite yet. I'm gonna give them some time to adjust. And we'll start, let's see. This little guy broke off whenever I was removing him from the plastic wrap, but he does have, whoops, a small cluster of roots. So ideally I would like for the roots to be a bit more developed, maybe like twice the size or length, but it looks relatively healthy. So we'll put them in here and I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of fresh soil over. I wait at least five days before watering them to let them adjust to the new environment. Then you can see these down here. And since this one's long, I'm going to place it over two, just like that. Don't cover the ends. That one's good. This one I'll cover. And another thing I like about egg cartons is the sides of them can be used to rest the leaf so it can stabilize itself better through its roots. Get this one to cover. Okay. These have itty bitty roots sprouting off the end, or this one. So, I'm going to place that just like that and use my little shovel to cover all the way around. And I'll wait to, I don't know, I'm going to toss on a little bit more soil just to keep it in place. This one, this one has a tiny, tiny bloom on the end. Great root cluster though. That one's a bit yellowed, the leaf end itself, but we'll keep it intact for as long as possible. This one in 
Actually, we're going to get this one its own. So the bloom can grow bigger. Some space. A little extra soil since the roots were a decent length. This one too. So the mother leaves of these should be weathered and withered within about three weeks, I would say. But it all depends on the amount of sunlight it's giving, the amount of water, the air circulation. Right. And this one has a leaf in the root system itself that was cooled off when I removed the plastic. So it's important to be gentle because you want to preserve the integrity of the roots and the blooms as much as possible, but they're succulent, so they're pretty resilient and and heal from wounds and grow bigger blooms and survive. So I have four remaining and I'm going to get some tape to cover these holes over here. Oops, knock that one over. So bloom, I'm just gonna sprinkle the blooms back in that I knocked off accidentally because you never know could grow another plant. Okay, so let me get some tape. And this is just pretty duct tape I got from work for attendance. It was one of our special gifts. It has Hedgehogs and cute little foxes, but any duct tape will do, or electrical tape, I think would be fine. But it might not adhere the same way, so just a small covering. Yeah. Okay, so about this much. Go right here. Okay. Tape. We'll put that covering the hole on the inside and take it down over the outside and adhere it to itself. And I'll do the same with the other piece. And as long as you're not oversaturating the soil, these egg cartons, I have some that have lasted me at least six months. And again, I don't let them get very soggy. I water just enough that the soil is saturated around the leaf. I don't water the leaf itself because that can cause it to get too much water, rot, wither. And we just wanna keep the leaves healthy for as long as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a cup make this a little bit easier. Okay, so there's that. Get our leaves and with the root development that is so healthy. Again, I could, probably could have let them go longer, but I mean, these roots are so healthy, I'm sure they'll do just fine in the soil. I'm gonna prop them up just like this. I'm gonna let this one rest in the soil. I think it'll do fine. Just like that. 
open and cover. And I accidentally squished this one when I was adjusting the camera. So the leaf is a bit broken, but it has a beautiful bloom and it has some healthy roots. So we'll give it a go. And this one has a big leaf. The roots, again, could be more developed, but I was so excited to replant these guys. And I know I had a lot of questions about what to do after they root when they're water propagated. So this is what you do. And then we'll have some room at the end in case we need to move over some of these guys because their roots get so developed that they're popping out of the soil or if the blooms are so lush that they need more space. But there it is. There are the water propagated leaves.